Hi there, I'm Pearl Howie, and this is the third course in my series of practical trainings about fear of success. And they're all designed to help you overcome your fear of success, okay? So this third one is analysis training. And I am going to probably refer to some of the stuff in the previous two trainings. If you haven't done them, um, at the moment they're both free on Udemy. They're short courses of less than two hours. And there's also two books that accompany those as well. And there'll be a book that accompanies this. So I really want you to be able to find your way to tap into this training, your way to tap into overcoming your fear of success as easily as possible. Um, and just so you know as well, there's an additional handbook. Um, it's actually just called Pearl Escapes Fear of Success. And that's available as a book um, pretty much everywhere. And also there's a video book on Udemy as well. That's a little bit longer, so it's not free, um, but it's all available. And I'm actually gonna be going on to do more of these trainings as well. So um, I hope you can find your right way of, of starting this. One of the reasons I'm doing these very small practical trainings is that, as I often say, and, and is often quoted, is that our greatest fear is of our own power, okay? So it's quite a big deal. It's quite a lot that we're trying to overcome. And so sometimes uh, we need to kind of tackle it in small pieces, okay? So these small trainings are really designed to help you tackle, you know, one part and to get a deeper understanding and to really understand and overcome your own fear of success, okay? So I'm gonna talk in just a second a little bit more about analysis. And also in this course, we're going to have some, uh, you know, somebody once called this uh, a midi healing. Okay, so what that means is it's not um, just a meditation, um, but it's a way of really finding a tool or resources that are going to help you with anything you're finding really problematic. And so one of the things I like about doing this on video is I get to use my my actual voice as well as just writing and it can be very helpful to have somebody speaking to you and listen to those words and help you to overcome things so we're going to be doing basically um call it healing and medi healing and meditation whatever you like on certain very very common disorders now please don't confuse it with thinking this is the only way of approaching this uh, there are many other tools and many other approaches, okay? But this is just things that I've discovered have been really, really useful for me and the way that I've got through difficult things, okay? So I hope you can enjoy this course. Um, and I'll, I'll talk about this a little bit more in the, in the explanation of analysis, but you may notice that I'm sitting here amongst some very fluffy cushions. And the reason for that is that sometimes when we're doing very difficult work, one of the most important things is, are you sitting comfortably? Are you relaxed? Um, or even if you're in a very powerful emotional state, can you make yourself as comfortable as you can be? And this is actually true for meditation as well. So sometimes we get this idea of meditation that you have to kind of be uncomfortable to do it. And that's, that's really not true. And one of my greatest teachers on meditation always says, you know, you mustn't do it if you're hungry. You mustn't do it if you're too full. You mustn't do it if you're too tired. You mustn't do it if you're um, so full of energy that you really want to go out and go for a walk. And it's really not about judging you or making it difficult for you, but it's about supporting you um, really to give you the best start. Yeah, And that's why I want to include this in the, in the introduction. It's really about getting you into a place of having um, the, the best opportunity to go through this, to, to learn, to overcome all of that. So take a minute now, before we go on to the next one, to just really think about getting comfortable. So that might mean, um, you know, <laughs> moving your cushions around. It might mean getting changed. It might mean turning the heating on or off, opening a window, whatever you like. Just go and get really comfortable, okay? Because it's really important when we're dealing with some of these things that we are kind to ourselves 
and we take care of ourselves, okay? If you need a drink, go get a drink, that's fine. If you need a snack, go get a snack. Don't uh, judge yourself if you're feeling that, you, you know, you need something different. I know for myself, and I think a lot of people do, um, if you're feeling um, a little bit stressed, one of the nicest things you can do is just go and get a big, nice comfy jumper on, and that, that really helps you, us to feel kind of a bit cosier and we can then start in a better a better frame and having that sort of almost like a hug <laughs> around us and I definitely have um, music and clothes and things like that that really feel like a hug you know to me so support yourself right now whatever it takes to support yourself you do know how to support yourself but sometimes we we let go of that because we get these ideas about I have to do it this way or I have to sit in this light or I have to sit just go and get really comfortable think about supporting nurturing yourself and making yourself comfortable and that's a really important part of getting ready for the next path okay see you in a second